Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Tully. On today's episode I want to share some really great news with you. I just got an email from Topaz Labs the other day stating that Gigapixel AI can now be launched as a plug-in. You know, and I think this has been out for a couple weeks, I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to update my Gigapixel, uh, but it can truly now be used as uh, a Lightroom plugin as well as a Photoshop plugin. Now, this is really cool, so you can crop your images in Lightroom and then upsize them right from Lightroom. It'll launch Topaz Gigapixel and then bring it right back in. I'll show you how all this works. And also, when you're working in Photoshop, you can go ahead and launch uh gigapixel ai is a plugin right inside of photoshop so this is really cool stuff i'm going to show you how all this works so without any further ado let's get started I'm going to start out here in Lightroom. Now, I have two images. I have this image here. Uh, I shot this at the uh, Heinz History Center, I believe, in Pittsburgh, PA. Not a great picture, an old tape recorder, but pretty cool. But this is not about the image. It's about Gigapixel. And the second image here, uh, it's some flowers. I do specialize in flower images. But what I want to do is uh, crop these two images very aggressively. But I want to take these both into Gigapixel from Lightroom. Now, you can batch process right from Lightroom, which is really, really nice. So let's go to this picture first. Let's uh, do a crop on it. I'm going to keep it in the original aspect ratio. I'm just going to flip this uh, around to a portrait mode here and pretend, let's say, or not pretend, let's actually do it not pretend about it let's say we want to really crop in tight to this image right here and do it in a landscape mode right like so and let me go ahead and accept that crop so there's my first image right there and now let's go to my second image and let's do a very tight crop in this and this is from like a canon point and shoot camera so then both of these just have some very light editing on them so let me go ahead and crop this one in. And again, I'm going to keep the original aspect ratio, but let's just crop in real tight. And again, it's not a great picture. And I'm um, just showing you how this works with Gigapixel. So here we go. So let's go ahead and accept that one. So I have these two images right here. Now all I have to do is select both of these images. I'm just going to right click with my mouse and edit in. And you'll find Gigapixel will be in your list of um, plugins right here. And as you can see, I have a lot of plugins, probably way too many, but can you ever have enough? But here's Topaz Gigapixel AI. So let me go ahead and click that. That'll launch uh, Gigapixel after I choose. Do I want to edit it as a copy with Lightroom adjustments? In this case, I do. I do have Lightroom adjustments on it. Or I could just edit it as a copy without Lightroom adjustments or edit the original. I'll edit it with the Lightroom adjustments. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to make a TIFF file here out of it. Pro Photo, 16-bit, 300 resolution, and no compression. So let's go ahead and click Edit. And that'll launch Gigapixel AI. And you'll see my two images will be in here right like now. This video is just focusing on the plugin capabilities using Lightroom and Photoshop. So I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of how to use Gigapixel AI. I have other videos on my YouTube channel that you can watch. I'll link those in the uh, description below in case you want to watch some of those. And uh, But uh, on this, I just want to let you see how the plugin capability works. And the batch processing is really awesome. So right now I have select all check. That means whatever I do to one image, the same thing will happen to the other image. Okay, so we have this image of the tape deck and we can move this around, see different parts of the image. And you'll see the uh, preview will update itself as I move here because I have auto update checked on. Now I'm setting up uh, in the scale upsize mode. So it'll just upsize by the, the amount of uh, times I upsize it. For, for instance, right now it's upsized for two times. I'm going to change it to four times and it's going to change it on both of these images and you'll see the original started out in this tape deck of 1876 by 1407 it upsizes to 7504 by 5628 and the other image is uh, 1319 by uh, 1978 this is the flower image and it upsizes to 5276 by 7912 Okay, and now uh, there's no faces on either one of these images. Uh, the one image is a natural image. The other image is a man-made image. Uh, 
So now what I'm going to do is uncheck the select all. And they're both remaining at the four times upscale. Everything is set for auto. But let me click on the second image, which is the flower image. And it is a natural image. Okay, so it's set up properly. And let me go back to the uh, tape recorder, which is a man-made image. So I want to change this one actually to man-made. Okay, and again, neither one of these have faces on them. And so that's all I'm going to do at this point. Everything's going to be good. You'll see the results in Lightroom here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and click Start Batch Processing. It'll start its batch processing uh, procedure here. And when it's finished, uh, we'll be back in Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here. And the next time you'll hear from me is when we're back in Lightroom. And I'll let you know the uh, finishing times. And here we are back in Lightroom. The tape recorder took 44 seconds and the flower took 38 seconds. Now I have a later model uh, iMac. It's a 2019 model uh, with an i9 processor, 32 gigs of RAM and an 8 gigabyte uh, graphics processor. So, you know, your, in, your uh, mileage will vary depending on your computer, but that's what mine took just uh, to give you something to go by. This is the upsize flower and this is the original flower. All right, so let's go ahead and do some pixel peeping. Let me go ahead into two to one. So again, this is the original and here is the upsized. But look at that, <laughs> you know, it's, it's really upsized, but it looks really great. Now let's go to the tape deck. Here's the original tape deck here and here is the uh, upsized version. Okay, so again, the original, the upsize. Let's go ahead and zoom in to two to one. This is the upsize version, and here is the original version. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited that we can now use Gigapixel AI as a plugin from Lightroom. Next, we're going to look at uh, using Gigapixel as a plugin from Photoshop. I have this really cool image of this bulldog, it's a stock image. And uh, let's take a look at its size. Let's come up here to image and image size. And you can see that this is a 14 by roughly 9 inch or 14 by 10 roughly at 300 uh, pixels per inch. So that's the size of the image right now. But I want to aggressively crop it and just get a nice intimate portrait of this bulldog's face. Like something like that. Isn't, isn't he or she cool? I don't know if it's a he or she, but it is cool. But here's something very, very important. Whenever you're going to send your image into Gigapixel, see this uh, delete crop pixels in this little checkbox here. Make sure you have that checked because if you don't check that, your image will be sent into Gigapixel as a full size image and not a cropped image. It'll take much longer to process. Now, when it comes back into Gigapixel, it will look like it's cropped. But if you really do some examination and click the crop tool on again, you can go ahead and rechange that crop size. Now, for some people, that may be a good thing. Not for me, it, it really uh, slows my uh, processing time. Uh, down so uh, once I'm happy with my crop I'm usually accepting it but that's totally up to you I recommend leaving that checked now let me go ahead and accept this crop here and now let's look at the size here uh, let's go back to image size and now we can see that it is a roughly 7 by 5 inch at 300 pixels per inch all right so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this uh, image size dialog here now, when you're ready to send this into Gigapixel, which I am right now, you don't have to duplicate the background layer here because you're going to upsize the image, so there's no need to do that. Now, I want to point out that originally I couldn't find out where Gigapixel AI was located. I went under Filter and I looked under my Topaz Labs group, could not find it in here. And then I found out after doing some searching in file, under the file menu, you're going to find it under automate. You're going to find it right here, Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now, I want to point out at this time, I don't think you can batch process from Photoshop a bunch of images. Maybe you can. And if you know that you can do that, please let us know in the comments section below. But as far as I know, you can't do this. Okay. 
You can do it in Lightroom, but not Photoshop as far as I know. But now all we need to do is uh, click on Topaz Gigapixel AI and we'll launch Topaz Gigapixel AI and we'll get upsizing. Gigapixel remembers my last settings. I was on scale and four times. Now at four times, my I can make my image into like a 29 by 19 inch print, which is pretty amazing, right? Or if I use it at two times, I would get an image that would be roughly a 14 by 10 print. So depending on what size you want to make your image, um, that's the size you would upsize it to. But say I wanted a nice big portrait of my favorite bulldog's face up on my living room wall. Let's just say. I don't know if my wife would like that, but I would like that. So I'd have to negotiate that with her. But anyway, let's say we want to go with the four times. Okay, so that would give me roughly a 29 by 19 inch. And now let's change the navigator's position so we can get right over the eye here. And it'll go ahead and update. Now... I'm going to leave face refinement off because I think that's only four people, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, please let me know in the comment section below if you know otherwise. And then other than that, we have image type natural or man-made. Obviously, it's natural. I have auto detect settings on. I'm just going to use that for sake of time. I'm going to leave it at the 4x. Like I said, that's the size I want. Um, I'm good to go. All I need to do now is click save and it'll go ahead and process out and bring us back into Photoshop. And here we are back in Photoshop. Let me go ahead and fit this image here to the screen. So there's my upsize image. Wow, pretty impressive. So we've come from this image here and we've come down to this image right here. And let me just make it a little bit smaller. So now I got this nice big image. Now let's take a look at it. Let's go under image size here and what do we got here? 29 by 19. So we can make a very, very large print for my living room wall for this guy. So there it is. But it's just that simple to use. So don't forget, it's up under File and it's under Automate. And to Topaz Gigapixel AI, just click on that and you'll upsize your image. There it is. That image took around like 45 seconds to process out of Gigapixel. So... Now you know you can do it. You can launch uh, Gigapixel from Lightroom and Photoshop. It's going to be a really great time saver. And don't forget, if you already are an existing user of Gigapixel AI, that's a free download for you. Hey, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for joining me in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly today. And by the way, I almost, I almost forgot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I'll see you all right here next time on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. But until then, happy editing.